Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Eva Lise. This was another fun but extremely messy one. It's this very sparkly, glittered out Hello Kitty wine bottle. I really had fun making this one. I wanted it to look like a coloring book drawing, but with glitter, and I think I pulled it off. Thanks for the request, and I hope you enjoy this one as much as I did. Hello Kitty Wine Bottle DIY requested. A quick reminder to please turn on your notification bells so that you can get notified as soon as I upload a video. Let's get started. For this bottle, let's prepare all the embellishments first so that they can start to dry while you make the rest of the bottle. I carefully cut out one of the Hello Kitties from the paper napkin. You can also just print out an image from online and follow the same steps. Once you've cut it out, separate the plies of paper. Next, we're going to decoupage the image onto a piece of white crafting felt. This way, when it's all done, it'll be flexible enough to glue onto the bottle. If you print yours out, you don't have to do this step. Go straight to the glittering. Place Mod Podge on the spot where you'll be placing the image. Place the image and using a piece of plastic wrap, dab the image down. You don't want to wipe this image on like you do when you regularly decoupage because it'll rip. Just press down until it's completely glued. Using a brush, seal it with more Mod Podge and let that completely dry. I bought a pack of these napkins, so I cut out 16 of the bows and prepared them the same way I did the Hello Kitty. Again, you can just print these out as well if you'd like. So place glue on the spot, place the bow, and for these, I didn't need the plastic wrap because they are so small. I just glued them down as I added another layer of glue to seal them. Let them completely dry as well. Once they are dry, using Mod Podge and very fine glitter, I colored in each image without touching the black lines. Make sure to place a piece of paper under the image to catch all the loose glitter so that you can place it back in the container when you're done. You want to make sure to place the glitter back in its container before starting a different color. Place glue with a very thin brush to cover the area you will be placing the glitter and then tap the excess off. Be careful not to ruin it while you're tapping the excess glitter off. I did half the bows with light pink and the other half with the darker one. Once they are all dry, taking a rough brush, I brushed off all the excess glitter. Using black puffy paint, I outlined all of the images and sprinkled black glitter all over the outlines. After you're done, tap the excess off. Again, being careful not to ruin your work. Once they're all dry, cut each one out and you'll have these beautiful glittery images. You can add these to anything. Just seal them with more Mod Podge or glitter sealer first. I didn't seal them because I'll be sealing the entire bottle once I put it all together. Using a pouncer brush and matte white acrylic paint, paint the whole bottle and let it completely dry. Using a brush and Mod Podge, I spread glue on a section of the bottle and then covered it with white iridescent glitter. Keep doing this until the whole bottle is covered. Let it dry and give it as many coats as it needs. I did too. I then painted the cap pink, let that dry and glittered it as well. Now it's time to assemble the whole thing. Using a hot glue gun, glue all the embellishments onto the bottle. I was gonna leave it there, but I felt like something was missing. I realized I wanted a big glittery bow on the neck of the bottle to pull it all together. I totally improvised this as it was an on the spot idea. I grabbed a fresh sheet of crafting felt and spread Mod Podge on it using a brush. I made it pretty wide. You wanna make it as wide as you want the bow to be. I then sprinkled glitter all over it. Once that side was dry, I turned it over and did the same thing to the back, but I used the darker pink on this side. Let that fully dry before doing the next step. I outlined the edges with the black puffy paint and sprinkled the black glitter over that. Let that dry and then do the same thing to the other side. 
Cut the strip out and form it into a bow. You want to fold it to form the two loops and cut the excess off. Using hot glue, glue the loops in the middle. I cut two triangular shapes on each end as you see here to make it look better. This meant I had to fill in the spots where it didn't have the black outline. Fill those spots with the black puffy paint and black glitter. Let one side dry and then do the other side. Fill all the edges the same way until it's completely outlined. Do the same thing to the strip that will go in the middle of the bow and the piece that will wrap around the neck of the bottle. Now to assemble the bow, hot glue the middle strip onto the bow. Then, the one that goes around the neck of the bottle. And lastly, hot glue the bow as you see here. I also decided to outline where the cap meets the bottle and glitter that as well. Finally, seal it and you're done. I used hairspray for this one just to show you it works. You can also use glitter sealer or Mod Podge. And here it is, all done. I love the way this bottle came out. It's so pretty and sparkly. I totally nailed my vision and it was easy to do. It's really more time consuming than anything. You just have to wait for things to dry completely before going to the next step. Oh, and by the way, this is extremely messy. Lord knows I tried to keep it confined and as neat as I could, but glitter has no boundaries. <laughs> I had to clean my whole apartment because somehow it ended up in every room, but it was well worth it. Thanks for requesting it. This is a great bottle for a girl's room or make it for a Hello Kitty themed birthday party or a gift for any Hello Kitty fan. As always, you can change the colors and images to suit whatever you want. Remember that you can also stick these on anything. Have fun, be creative and make a mess. Thanks for watching! If you liked this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up as it helps the growth of the channel and to show your support. If you're new here, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry. <laughs>